Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that when you tighten down the head of a mag light sometimes you'll get a different type of pattern. You could get two different mag lights from the store and they'll both have different light patterns when you tighten down the head all the way down and I want to go into why that is. Now you might be asking yourself first of all who still uses a mag light like this? Uh, well, I do. I, I do realize that these guys aren't the most cutting edge technology you can get in terms of flashlights. Um, in fact, there's, there's lights out there that are half or even quarter the size that they'll have the, you know, same amount of lumen output than this guy. But I still like to keep one of these in my truck. And the other day I realized that I had both of these actually in my car and um, I noticed that when you tighten down the heads this had a different pattern than this one uh, and I thought well originally maybe it's because the this one if you can see this is a uh, LED retrofit I actually shot a video with this uh, you know, a good friend of mine that's this belonged to his brother and he it got kind of handed down and handed down to me this was originally an incandescent bulb, but I replaced it with an LED. Whereas this one that was gifted to me by my friend uh, Wolf and Bob, this is a this is a flashlight that rolled out of the factory with an LED bulb, and you can always tell that by the DL starting in the beginning of the um, serial number, whereas the ones that are incandescent just have a you know a D, no L. For the um, for the LED, but um, the the way you you can lock in your uh, focus, the reason that, that I would want that you would want that is the further down the tight it is tightened, the more water resistance you will have from the O-ring. Uh, so that's why I would want to have this been you know tight down and have have it throw a focused beam and I'm going to roll in the footage of of this tightened down all the way and this you can see the comparison of the two and as you can notice this this silver one the silver flashlight has a big old donut in the middle right now I focused it and you can see uh, this this is the light I want but if I tie if I move it if I tighten it down you get that donut so how do we lock in this little beam well for one thing you you tighten down until you get that focus then you take a look and observe where the LED stands when it is uh, tightened down like that take good note of it because you're going to then disassemble the head which this part is disassemblable you just open this up take out the, the bezel take out the reflector and mind you the reflector of the of the incandescent one is not the same as the reflector of the LED types now notice this this uh, sort of a funnel shaped cut that they have here this is what helps well, this is what allows you I should say not helps this, is, this allows you to focus in the light because this part is spring-loaded and it moves up and down and I should probably use another light to illuminate this by if you notice the little brass piece that moves up and down that is articulated by this and that allows you to focus now with that out of the out of the, the housing out of the head tighten this down all the way till it's snug like so you don't have to put a death grip on it just just a little tightness then you will take this and in a sense, you can also actually maybe focus it like this. Use turning the reflector now, not not the head. Focus your head to where you want it to be, like that. That looks about good. Then you can turn it off and kind of take a look at it. You you can also focus it before and and then you know compare it to this. Now, mind you, when you turn, twist this in, this the reflector is going to want to rotate on you. So be careful. Don't let it happen too much. Just keep an eye on it and close it in. Actually, it's rotating pretty badly. But 
Hmm. Let's see where it'll land us. Uh, it's getting us close. I don't think it's quite... Nah, maybe. That might be good enough. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm content with this. I'll leave it like so. So, and that's how you can lock in, so to speak, your focus. Uh, so now this head is tightened on. Actually, I'm doing a, too much of a death grip, but just like that, it's tight. And you, I, I have my dot, the focus beam, and I don't have that big old donut in the middle of my field of view. So this, this is a perfect for me. Uh, I would suggest doing this dialing in at a, on a um, you know a wider area you know if you have at least 25 feet ahead of you or you know uh, what would that be in meters oh divide that by three like eight meters eight ten meters in front in front of you and then dial it in like that um, so that should be that should be good let me know what you think of this in the comments below if this is something that you found interesting do you still use mag lights or not and um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.